going to help mommy film? Go on, get comfy. No, pretty boy. So beautiful. Mummy, don't sit on all mummy's clothes. She's got to put them in this video. You can sit on my knee. Not on the clothes, mister. <laughs> Who's pretty? If we cry, cry, cry. Cause when you walk out that door, you're a dangerous love. Hi guys, I'm here with another Primark haul. This video has taken me about an hour to actually set up, so I'm really hoping that the lighting is okay in it. Because I filmed a video, it was a what's in my airplane bag, and the lighting was blue. So I might actually refilm it that after this, but it's currently 9 p.m. So <laughs> yeah, this is like a little sleepover. Hi! Get a snack, get a drink, let's chill. I have got a massive Primark haul. I don't think I've ever spent so much money in Primark. I spent £186, but I've got so much stuff. And if you think about it, that's how much you'd pay for like three items at Topshop or whatever. And I've literally got a whole new wardrobe. So I'm going to show you everything that I've got. Obviously, that's what haul is. Mm. Starting off with this. Now this is actually a bath mat, but if you know my house, if you're not a new viewer or anything, you'll know that I've got like a lot of these rugs around. I've got two downstairs and they're really multicoloured, but I thought that this one would be nice. It's, it's really big. It's definitely not bath mat size, like it's a lot bigger. And it was three pounds, like actually three pounds. How crazy is that? So I'm just gonna use it as a little rug somewhere. I might actually use it in this room because this room's got quite a lot of blue in it. The next thing that I picked up was 10 pounds. And it's a little like dressing gown slash nightgown, but it's got pom-poms on the sleeves. It's honestly adorable. It reminds me a lot of the Victoria's Secret ones. That's why I got it. Just a pale pink like nightgown, really thin, so really good for summer. And it's got like this lace detail. It's so pretty. There's so much detail in this. It definitely looks a lot more expensive than what it was. Kind of matches my top right now, which actually isn't a pajama top. This is also from Primark. It was eight pounds. It's just this shirt. It's got three quarter length sleeves, which I think is perfect, especially going into summer. But I always think that these kind of tops look really strange on me when they're full sleeved. Like, I always want to roll the sleeves up, but then if you've got a coat on, like a leather jacket, if you have your sleeves rolled up, then you get like this bulge in your jacket. So these sleeves are perfect and I love this top so much it's just perfect to just throw on I'm going on holiday I'll probably be there by the time you're watching this video so hi if you're watching this I'm probably on holiday right now but as for now I'm not oh shut up Gabby I got these shoes how cute are these they're like beaded flip-flop kind of shoes. I live in Primark sandals in the summertime. I honestly think they're so comfortable. So I thought that I would get this pair and update my sandals. And these were £10. How crazy is that? If that was in a different shop, these would be at least 25 if not more. Crazy. I got another pair of sandals as well and they're these ones. They're just pink and orange and gold sequined ones and I just love sandals like this. They just dress up any outfit and I like to wear a lot of white in the summertime so I feel like if you have a bit of pop of colour on your shoes you don't really need to wear colour anywhere else. Like you, I could just match my lipstick to my shoes. I could wear like orange or pink lipstick. These have got shreddy kind of trainery bottoms but the top is cork and these just look so comfortable they were eight pounds eight pounds that's crazy oh my god i got this thing this was three pounds this costs the same as that rug but this is just a little headband because when i do makeup tutorials i flip my hair back so that makeup doesn't go in my hair but i thought if i had just a cute little headband it'd be cuter. I'm gonna say cute so much in this video, I apologise. Another thing that I got is this soda cup and it says ice cool soda, no added sugar. This is a little glass jar and it's got a handle and I've been looking for some more colourful ones with handles just for you know Instagram pictures and stuff. <laughs> How sad is that? These are so cute when you make, oh cute. These are so cute when you make a smoothie in it though, like imagine this with a nice strawberry and banana pink smoothie in, it would look adorable. So I got that. How much was that, Gabs? 
three pounds. And to go along with that one, I also got this one. This one says, let's do cocktails. Although I honestly think I will be just drinking water or smoothies in these. I love the straws though, the stripey. Oh, okay, mixing it up a little bit. I got this bikini top. I think this is amazing. It's gonna be perfect for my holiday. First of all, the back has got a little bit of detail. Oh my God, I feel like a superhero. And then the front just looks like this. Underneath this flap is just a plain black one, but then it's got this flap over. And I love the colors in this. They're really muted. It's not like in your face. This is so adorable, honestly. If you're quite flat chested, ruffles make your chest look a lot bigger. Which doesn't make sense because if you've got bigger boobs as well, I think just one ruffle like this can hide them. Ugh, I don't know. Carrying on with holiday things, I got this, what do you call it, like a kimono throw thing. This was £10 and it's just got this pattern on which can look a bit like a curtain, but if you're just wearing like a plain white outfit or black or whatever, it looks really nice. It's got this tassel on the bottom and you literally just throw it on. It's kind of short, bat wingy type sleeves. I really like this, it's just a nice beach cover up. I also got the top that I'm wearing in blue and white, which is definitely gonna look like the boy in the striped pajamas, but you know, what can you do? P.S. that film is so sad, oh my God. I got another beach cover up and I need to take this back and get a smaller size, it's way too big for me. But this was 10 pounds and I, I've got this in a large. So this is just a green and blue like caftan kind of thing. It goes in in the middle, except it doesn't because this one's too big for me, but it should do. And it goes really low on the front, so it kind of sits like that. And it's more like a dress, like this comes down to my knees. I am really short, I'm five foot three, and it comes down to my knees, so on taller people, it probably would be a bit shorter, but this is totally dress length, so you wouldn't have to wear shorts or anything with it. You could just throw this on around the pool, or if you're going on like a boat trip or anything. I really like this, I just need a smaller size. Oh my god, you guys are gonna think I'm so silly. But I got this hat. <laughs> Oh, I look ridiculous. This is just a khaki green hat. It was like one pound or two pounds. But I tried on Hobby's hat once and I thought it looked quite cool on me. So I was like, sod it, I'm gonna get a hat. And I got this hat to go with this bomber jacket. It's like a suede bomber jacket. Obviously it's not suede though. And this was only 15 pounds. If you're looking for a nice spring summer jacket, honestly, this is the one. I've got it in two colors. I've got it in a dusky pink, but I'll show you that after. I'll pop this on though for you. It's just got cuffed sleeves. Oh, it's gonna look so silly on camera probably. So it just kind of looks like this. The sleeves are cuffed at the ends. Obviously not with the top that I'm wearing, but I just thought that this could look quite cool. Moving on, I've got these shorts. They're just elasticated little shorts. They've got like pom-pom tassels. And on the bottom, the edge is all frayed and they're a nice like geometric Aztec print. These will be nice just to throw on around the pool. I've said that about literally everything in this video. <laughs> I could put a winter coat on and be like, oh, this would just be nice to throw on around the pool. On to the next thing. I also need to go and size down in this. I did get it in a 12, which is my usual size, but it's huge. Like this comes up a lot bigger. It's this off the shoulder little white dress. Now it's got a tie around the waist so you can make it tighter, but it just goes down and it's got like crochet around the bottom. This is such a nice beach cover up again, or you could just wear it at night on holiday or in England, to be honest, when it's in summertime. This with a wide brimmed hat and big sunglasses, heck to the yes. Look how cute it is. But yeah, I need to size down in this. It comes up really big. I might even have to get an eight, like that's how big the sizing of this is, which is so strange, but I do really like it. So I'm gonna go back and get it and this was 13 pounds. Oi oi guys, we have reached the dusky pink bomber jacket. This is what dreams are made of, said Lizzie McGuire. Hey now, hey now, this is what dreams are made of. Look at this color, it's amazing. Now this would look nice with the shirt I've got on. I would look very Penelope Pitstop in this. Oh, heck to the yes. Look how cute this color is. Oh my gosh, I love this one. I'm definitely more of a dusky pink person rather than the tan, but I do think that the tan does look nice. The tan would look amazing on blonde hair. I do actually prefer pink on 
brunettes because I think on blonde hair it can look quite barbie-ish but this shade of pink is really dusky so it wouldn't look too barbie-ish. This is so cool, I honestly love it. And it was £15 guys, I mean, come on, £15. This has got a silver zip by the way, so has the tan one, which I like because I prefer silver hardware. I just can't deal with how nice these are. I think this is the nicest thing Primark has brought out since my homeware range. <laughs> <laughs> okay, on to the next thing. I saw this in Emily Cannon's Primark haul and I was like, yeah, you know I'm gonna be getting that. So this is a towel, it was seven pounds, and it's just a cute little beach towel. It's full of colors, but look at the bottom. It's got pom-poms. <gasps> the pom-poms cover the whole of the edge as well. It's adorable, and it's just got this cool little pattern on it. I love this so much, obviously, otherwise I wouldn't have bought it. You would have the cutest beach towel on holiday if you've got this. Wait a second though, I've got another as well. Emily got this one too, this was also seven pounds. And it's a blue and white print at the top with yellow and pink at the bottom. It's very Moroccan-y. This is gorgeous too. I think I'm gonna give one of these to my mum and I'm gonna have the other, just so we can both have cute towels because she doesn't really get cute towels, Janie. I've got you back. You should see my bed right now, it's ridiculous. I've got like a mountain. Onto something that I can wear in the evenings on holiday. This was 13 pounds and I got mine in a size 14, which is bigger than I would normally get it. Oh my God, the buttons come off. Oh, this is gonna be so hard to show. I'm not doing a try on video by the way, because I'm not that confident, like with my legs and stuff and a lot of this stuff is short, so. Sorry about that, but I will do my best to hold it up. So this is a long sleeved play suit. It goes in with elastic in the middle and then the front of it has got this little detail. It's like little laces, but it looks really, really nice when it's on. I actually love this and it's just a flower print and the shorts aren't too short either, which is what I like. The next thing my mum has actually got, so it's gonna be really embarrassing, so we're just gonna be wearing the same swimming costume. But oh well. Look how cute this is. It's a navy blue and white swimming costume with a tassel around the boobs. So it just looks like that. I've just realised why this felt so big. I thought I'd got a 12, because the hanger said 12. I've got an 18. I was on FaceTime to my mum, I was like, mm, I think I'm gonna have to go and downsize in this because it does feel a little bit too big. Oh, what an idiot. This is so cute though. It was 13 pounds, how good is that for a holiday swimsuit? And it's got these little silver things around the straps which is a nice touch but I love anything tasseled this actually reminds me of when I was younger I used to wear little tasseled bikinis and swimming costumes and stuff and it just takes me back to them days I should probably not still be wearing it at the age of 21 but Jane should probably not be wearing it at the age of 53 <laughs> ain't nobody gonna stop us Oh no, I had some more stuff at this side to show you and I've buried it in all the stuff that I have shown you already. Didn't think that one through. Another thing that I got was three pounds and this is a little heart makeup bag. Oh my God, it's even got a heart zip. Oh, look how sweet this is. It's black with little white hearts on and I got this for just general use to be honest. It'll be good on holiday, but it'll also just be good like for everyday life just to put little makeup bits in. I also got some toothbrushes, which I get every time I go into Primark because I am a bit crazy about toothbrushes. I change mine all the time. These were 75p though, so I can justify changing it like every other week. <laughs> That's kind of bad, isn't it? I'm really funny about hygiene. Oh my god, I don't know if this works, but it's so sweet. This was one pound and it's a pump nail polish, so it's got one of them pumps on the top, so you just get like a cotton wool pad, pump it on, and it puts product on it. I thought this would be good, even if the stuff inside isn't very good, to put my own solution in. I just really like the pump bottle, it's really handy to have. And then I've saved the best, most exciting thing to last, a pop-up storage bag. This is just for my bathroom, just to pop laundry in. So that is the end of my massive Primark haul. As I've said, I am gonna go back and exchange a lot of these things because the sizes are a bit off. I feel like with Primark, you should always go to the fitting rooms and try it on, but I got so much stuff that I was just like, I really can't be bothered to go to the changing rooms. They're gonna have to count everything. I'm gonna be here for like three hours. So I decided to bring it back, but it's fine. I'll just take it back to Sheffield tomorrow and exchange it. I'm gonna go now, but give this video a thumbs up if you like Primark hauls. Did you hear my shoulder crack then? 
Ah. And comment below what your favourite thing from this haul was. And if you're going on holiday this year, let me know as well where you're going. I hope you all have a good time. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys. <laughs>